In today's video, I want to take a closer look at bed leveling with the CR Touch with an Ender 3. So if you're not familiar with the CR Touch, that's this little device right here. It's got a probe on the side. And on these older ones, uh, they don't come with this, and I guess you can buy these with them now. But this is an essential upgrade if you're having some difficulty with your prints. You know, maybe you could print in one area and it fits just fine, but if you try and do something over the entire bed and you're having wild oscillations and maybe it'll work over here and it won't stick there and you're having bad prints, then this is an essential upgrade. And today I want to go into a little more detail of how it works because I was very curious myself as to just, you know, what the display was going to show and how much correction you could do and things like this. So basically, after this is installed, and if you haven't done so and you want to know how I did this one, I have a video that I can show you how to put this on. It's a pretty simple upgrade, uh, but there are a couple of things that you need to do. I can put a link uh, down below and you can take a look at that. But basically, this is what it does. You, you have these knobs here that on the side, on the bottom, you have four of them and they run the bed up and down and you want to get this as so-called level, I'll put that in quotes, as possible. What you're trying to do is you're trying to even everything out so it's consistent. And if you didn't have the CR Touch, then you're kind of in a world of hurt because you'll be playing around with these knobs forever. And it's very difficult to get it uh, even. And even if you have it even, there are some variations in the plate itself. The great thing about the CR Touch is that it probes in nine locations and then it measures them uh, and then it makes adjustments when you print. And I'm going to show you that in the video, uh, how it does that. It's really interesting. And so you have to do first the rough leveling with the knobs, but I have found that it doesn't have to be perfect. And you'll see from my measurements that this is far from perfect. And then when it goes down, it'll measure in nine places. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This way, that, this way, that, and this way. And then over here on the screen, I'll show you where it will show you the measurement that it got. And then it uses that information to make adjustments. And I was uh, curious to see how much it would move, you know, whether I could see it or not. And boy, can you really see it. And I'll show you that next. So I have uh, put in the G28 semicolon, and then the next line is G29 semicolon. This is the code you need before you print in your slicer. And then what it'll do is it'll tell the printer to do these nine points. And so here it's going through that first thing, and we're uh, just starting to do the probe number three, and then I'll speed the video up. And then I'm going to show you the measurements here as we move along. Now this first row was pretty consistent. I had uh, 6.12, 6.12, and 6.19 for the first three and that's pretty consistent and that's probably because it's easier to get at than the back knobs. But what I found is that when you went further in the back I started to get some pretty wild uh, measurements. So in the second row, uh, from left to right, I had 6.37, 6.4, and 6.47. So that's a little bit more. But when we get to the back row, it got crazy. I had 6.63, 6.68, and 6.77. And that is a big difference from the front row. So the display is showing a consistent Z but I can feel the stepper motor moving. So I'm gonna move the camera. All right, now I put a little mark right here. You can see this. And this is the stepper motor for the Z-axis, which will run the entire print head assembly up and down. All right, it's almost done with the fill in the center. So now it's gonna go around and we should be able to see as it makes its pass on doing the next layer, we should be able to see this mark changing right here. See it going down, it's going back up, going up, and as it goes over, it goes down. And you can see the corrections 
that it's making right there. That is the bed leveling at work. And we'll check the display. The Z is not showing the corrections. It is staying at 0 0.65. And that kind of surprises me because if I were to write this, I would have shown what it was actually at. But clearly, the Z axis is moving as this pans in all directions. And we can see that quite clearly on the stepper motor itself right here. So it lifted up. Now you can see how it's adjusting the Z height much faster when it's doing the wall thickness, I'm sorry, the wall edges. And you'll notice as you go left to right up front, it hardly moves at all. But when the, it goes to the back of the plate here, we see an enormous correction. And that is consistent with the measurements that I took. And so since I've had the CR Touch, I have been able to print uh, pretty much everything that I've wanted to with not a lot of fuss. I mean, I don't have to use glue on the plate or anything like that. I can just put it on a plain old plate and let it print and just pull it off. So anyway, I found this really interesting and I hope that you found that helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know or have any comments about how yours is going. Uh, feel free to let me know down in the description.